we are live. Welcome to Glamo's Closet, guys. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Glamo's Closet. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, I, I, it's probably not going to take me that long, uh, but I just wanted to um, I just want to reach out and say uh, hello to everybody in the live chat first. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about this. This is so weird. This box got really weird and, and I'm not entirely sure it's done being weird. <laughs> Um, so Patrick Murphy, mwah, welcome in my little bro. And there is my show me homie, Aisha dancer, tired and unmotivated. I heard that. Hello, Christopher Nutter. Hello. It's good to see you, Nutter. Happy hour hollers, Brennan Janet. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Hello, my loves. Hello. I hope you're uh, nice and warm down there in the Carolinas. Yeah, it got weird. Okay. Let me let me go ahead and start. Um, hello, Jennifer Hayes. Mwah. Hello, gorgeous. Lynn, hello. How are you? Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, thank you. Um, okay, so here's here's where our story begins. Um, January the seventh, I ordered two thread up fun boxes. And about a week later, one of the fun boxes showed up and it was so kicked around and so destroyed and so kicked to crap that it literally when I, I mean, it came looking beat up. It looked like it went 50 rounds with the champ and lost. Hi, Dodo. Um, and, uh, and so it was, it was just absolutely destroyed when I got it. And then when I opened it up to do the unboxing, it disintegrated on me. <laughs> like this box just fell apart. It was so bad. And I'm like, what in the world happened in this box? And where is my other box? So I reach out after I do the opening. Thank God everything was in pristine condition and it really was a lit box. It was great. Um, hey, Nuglin. Uh, so, okay, so I, I contact ThreadUp uh, uh, and, and I'm like, hey, the other box is missing. And they're like, oh, hang on. It's probably, you know, in route and there's been some shipping delays. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. Cool by me. Cool, cool. Um, I said, you know, do I reach back out to you if I don't receive it? And they're like, yes. Another two weeks goes by. I still haven't received this box. And I'm like, good Lord, it's now February and I still haven't received my box. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Raquel. Mwah. And um, so I reach out to thread up again and I'm like, hey, didn't get the box. What do we what do we do here? What's our move forward? And they're like, okay, we'll go ahead and just credit you for that box. And I'm like, okay. I'm like, if the box shows up, what do I do? And they're like, they're like, um, you know, probably not going to show up. We'll just credit you for the box. And I'm like, okay. So they credit me for the box. Today, uh, I walk outside and I had a USPS pickup on my porch. So they picked up my outgoing orders and left this thing. They left this. Now here is the packing slip. And I just realized I'm doxing myself. Oh, well. Um, it's from warehouse manager at ThreadUp. Okay. But it looks like it's a reprinted label. And then I open it up. And I see this. I swear to God, I cannot make this up. They shoved a destroyed ThreadUp box down in this box. They shoved a destroyed thread on like the whole box, like the boxes in here, the polka dot box. And the United States Postal Service leaves me this fun note. Dear postal customer, <clears throat> we sincerely regret the damage to your mail during the handling by the postal service. We hope this incident did not inconvenience you. 
We realize that your mail is important to you and that you have every right to expect it to be delivered in good condition. Although every effort is made to prevent damage to the mail, occasionally this will occur because of blah, 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 blah. Uh, we hope you understand. We assure you that we're constantly striving to improve that rare occurrence may be eliminated. Please accept our apologies. Sincerely, your postmaster. Okay, postmaster. First of all, thanks for giving me something for my grandkid to choke on. No thanks. You can keep your bag. You could have just written it. And second of all, here's my box. <laughs> and so I have a box in box crime. I know, Chris, right? And welcome, by the way. Yeah, it's just weird. I'm like, hi, Cheryl. I'm like, this just keeps getting weirder and weirder. Cheryl, Raquel, Raquel did I say hello? I think I did. I don't ever want to miss anybody in the chat, but sometimes I get to talking and, you know. So, uh, yeah, so this is my Thread Up Fun Box. Let's see, A, if I got anything, if I actually have all 10 items, B, if everything's in decent condition and hasn't been beaten to crap, and C, um, what do we do after? Let that be a worry for another day. So today, let's start with... This is Kolhan. Okay. Uh, it's a little Kolhan metallic wristlet. Um, it does have some damage on the back, you can see. And I'm not sure that I, that doesn't look like dirt. It actually looks like damage. So I'm not sure. Oh, it's got, it's got some little tissue inside. The inside is actually nice. It's like a suede. It's really soft leather. So I think it's a nice wristlet in general, but it's got a few clicks on it, which I think that came probably from thread up like that. I don't know if that was damaged in root, but it was on the side. So I'm going to put that to the side. Let's see what else we have. We have this, this B thing. It's kind of cute. I do like things with, uh, with little, um, uh, insect things uh, with little like insect accents on them. I think that's kind of cute. This is it. So it's got two little side pockets. I wonder what was supposed to go in this hole or if there was something in that hole. I don't know. Maybe it's a breathing hole. Maybe it's an air hole. <laughs> I'm just at this point, I'm just completely perplexed. Uh, I bet it's the rest of this backpack. Okay. That leather. It feels like leather. It's it well. It's actually. I'm pretty sure it's pleather. It doesn't smell like leather, so I would be shocked if this wasn't. Yeah, little pleather backpack with the crossbody strap, I guess, or whatever. But I do like that jeweled B on the front, and I think that's actually cute. It doesn't look like it has damage. Thank God for that. What in the tar nation? Oh, okay, pajamas. They smell a little weird. Probably going to have to spray the crap out of those. Renee Rolfe sleepwear. Why do they always send me small? And these are really soft. And the I do like this. It's like maroon with a check. And then it's got like the three little snappies on the front. And as far as I can tell, it's new with tags with no damage. It just smells a little weird. And I, God only knows what that's from. So we're going to have to disinfect these pajamas. But I think that was a good pickup. Oh, no pockets. Lack of pockets in clothing always leaves me grieving. Okay, so a pair of pajamas. One, two, three. Ooh. Vieta and Vieta. Okay, so this is a scarf situation. Let's see. Here's let's. Okay. Hey, Marilyn. Good to see you. Okay, so 
this is like uh it's like i guess it's like a uh, like a poncho right so it's like a wool little poncho that has like a little carabiner thing in front there's the carabiner thing let's see i don't see a name brand on it i don't think i'm gonna find one if it's not obvious right away i don't think it's gonna be i don't think i'm gonna find one there's no like there's no um there's no materials tag or anything like that it is cool it is nice and it feels like a very soft wool but i can't say it's well unless i can prove it's wool. so who knows but look at me this is very cool Yes. Yeah, it's okay. It's not it's not bad. I can sell it. I just am <laughs> one of the many things to perplex me about this box. Now I have to open it because now I, I really do have to see if there is any materials tag whatsoever on this thing. And so far I see zero tags. Zero tags. So that's interesting. Okay. Well, Google Lens, here we come. Um, oh, $14.98, flexible outsole, secret treasures. Some little size eight flippy flops. They're like little, they're almost like a if a if a Birkenstock and a and a cheap house shoe had a baby. Um, so I've got like a little buckle here, and they're furry. And they've got, see how they've got kind of like a Birkenstocky sort of thing? But they are, uh, in fact, not Birkenstocks, sadly. <laughs> Which, uh, to expect that in a fun box would be ridiculous. Um, they are one pair of Secret Treasure, size 8, new with tags. And they seem to be in fairly good condition. Hmm, Okay. They're wrapped up with a rubber band, which I'm not sure if that was if that was from ThreadUp or if that was from the post office. So I'll have to unwrap that thread later and see if there's any weirdness there. Um, and then what a lovely pair of clearance socks. Uh, exhilaration. And look, price tag's still on them too, $2.10. Um, the weird thing is I do love fuzzy socks, so these I can actually keep. They do remind me of cotton candy, yes. So I guess I have a pair of socks for me to keep. That's cool. That's cool. Cool, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six items. Seven items. Is anybody else really sick of seeing these ugly? These things are so bad. These, okay, they're these, I'm not even going to open them because I've gotten, I can't even count the number of pairs of these that I've gotten. No markings, no name. I mean, at some point I probably will open them just to have extra ones in the glove compartment or something, but I've gotten like so many pairs of these in fun boxes. And then the last thing is the last thing. Okay. Um, tough watercolor drop protection for iPhone 11 Pro Max. It's a it's a, a case mate. So I got a phone case. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Pajamas are six, unless you count them separately, and then you can say six, seven, eight, yep. Nine. Something is missing from this box. 
something's missing from this box. And I can go through the pain and the hiney of sending it back to thread up. Or I can just take a picture of it, send it to them and go, what do you want to do? Because, because nothing in that box is, is anything that I really would have picked out. I did order a fun box, so I know what that entails, right? And and um, I know that sometimes the box, some boxes are more fun than others. But it's it's missing something. Even if you count the pajamas as two piece, and typically they do not, um, it, it's missing at least one piece, if not two, because it should be ten pieces. So something is missing out of that box, uh, and it came to me. Uh, I just don't even know. <laughs> and they they um, they picked the wrong week to do that. I am mildly cranky this week, and I cannot figure out why. Um, I'm properly medicated. Uh, I'm I'm you know, I've had a great Valentine's. I've had a lot of uh, of good social interaction, but a lot of like you know, got things totally accomplished. Great sales. You know, I got my, I made it through the oral surgery okay, and um, and they, you know, and, and they gave me pain meds and all you know, all this stuff. Yeah, I did get store, I didn't get store credit for it. I got, um, they actually credited my credit card that I put it on. It seems like the box was run over by a tractor trailer, and I don't know if there was something in the box that was like. That was either, it, I'm not saying it was stolen. I'm saying, you know, it, it's possible that it, it fell out of the box or or wasn't included to begin with. I just don't know. Um, but it, it seems like there's, a, I know that there is at least one piece missing from that box. Ah, uh, Deborah, thank you. Hello, and hello, Deb. Um, yeah, I, I was uh, really happy with my, um, with my, uh, name brand handbag box from ThreadUp. So it's not, I'm not like bashing ThreadUp. I'm just saying this whole process has been weird. And if I were going to bash anybody, it'd be the USPS. And I don't want to do that publicly because, you know, I don't want to be put on the no pickup list. <laughs> they, uh, they, it, it's obviously it's, it's some sort of an accident, but I think too, maybe somebody, uh, somebody, you know, if the box was crushed or, or if the box was, was, you know, destroyed, destroyed or damaged or something like that. I think somebody, Hey Tommy, I think somebody, um, took advantage of that to maybe score something cute that they liked. Probably the only good thing that was in that box. <laughs> it's not that those aren't, uh, uh, yeah, so I've already been reimbursed for it, and then it came, but it came like busted to crap. Um, but I feel like that that's not ThreadUp's fault; it's the it's the fault of USPS. So I'm not sure. I I do want to reach out to ThreadUp. I, my conscience tells me that I should reach out to ThreadUp and go, "Hey, by the way, I did receive that box. Um, USPS said that the box was damaged in transit." And um, P.S. When I received that box, it was missing one or two pieces. Um, but I want to make sure to. I, this is going to sound awful, guys. But I ordered another thread up box, a, another thread up fun box, and I want to make sure that gets here before I call them and report it because um, because I I just. I don't want to keep going through this. It's so hard to get a hold of people's customer service, even if you'd like type to text it in, you know, like if you're like, if you're like, if they're like, Hey, I have a live chat. I also blame the weather. I'm actually sick and I never get sick. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not sick. I'm just cross. I've been so crabby all week. And like some monster came after my sister in her chat um, and, uh, and was going to tell her, come on. They act like we were born yesterday. Honey, it's not, honeys, it's not that we, it's not that we, you know, it's not that we don't think that you're a triggered little idiot. It's just that we don't care. You know, we're Gen X, we don't care. You know, get my chat, cause some engagement, sure, whatever. 
I don't care. But when it comes to my sister, I'm a little defensive. And apparently this week I'm a lot defensive. So she had to, there were actually some of my comments she had to remove because I was a cranky pants. And, and that's not nice. You can't just call people morons like that. How's my box? My box is destroyed. They, it, it's pretty much destroyed and it's missing like one or two things, Aunt Boo. I know. Oh, your box was mangled too, Deborah. That's right. I remember seeing that. Yeah. I don't know if there is, I don't know if it's part of that thing where if you route it through Houston, I'm curious to see where it came from now that I think about it. That came from Phoenix, Arizona. That's my theory is this. My theory is that the stuff that's coming from Phoenix is, is probably being routed through Houston. And that is a nightmare down there. There is something horrible happening at the Houston USPS. I think, and I can't, I'm not going to swear by this. I'm not a news announcer and I'm not whatever, but I think what happened if I, if I read things correctly and if I interpreted what I read correctly is that there was some sort of situation at the, um, Hey Doug, um, that there was some sort of situation at the Houston hub, um, that they were turning into like a bigger sort of hub where it would be like a hub for like a, a, a bigger, bigger area. Hey Jackson. Um, and they, had to move in new equipment, new sorting equipment, and found out that the sorting equipment that they ordered did not match the size of the actual uh, of the actual thing that they ordered it for, like the room or the the factory or the whatever it was. The the processing center was too small for this ginormous new sorting machine or something. So they couldn't fit it in. And so it caused like a huge backlog and like a huge, you know, to do or whatever. So that is my guess. That's my guess. Um, strangely, I'm not actually that cranky about this box. I'm just perplexed. Mostly it's just, it's just been a weird, weird journey with this box. And, um, I, and I'm just going to stare at it for a little while and, you know, I don't know, contemplate it. I, I do have to reach out to thread up that it's the right thing to do. And, um, and frankly, they can have their crap back, but, but it is the right thing to do and see what they say. Do you want it donated? Do you want it sent back to you? What do you want? Um, because I have it and they've already credited me and I'm not getting charged again because that's ridiculous after everything that I've been through. So, you know, their issue with their carrier, they need to sort that out. Um, but, but they do need to be, I do need to let them know that this happened um, and that it did arrive eventually and in pieces and missing something. So yeah, that's a, it's a, it was a weird journey. It was a weird journey. First I have, first I have one box that's destroyed and a missing second box. And then I report that to thread up and then they're like, wait a while and see if the box shows up. And then the box does, still doesn't show up. So then I contact thread up and I'm on, on and off with, with thread up, you know, for like a day, it's ridiculous trying to get them in a chat. I finally get a hold of somebody in customer service with thread up and they're like, okay, we're going to credit you for that box. And I'm like, okay, but what if the box shows up and they didn't, I didn't really get an answer for that at all. They didn't answer. So now I have to go, Hey, guess what? Remember that one time when I was like, Hey, what if the box shows up? Well, the box showed up, but the box is damaged and missing something. So now what do I do? It's just a, oh, what a weird, weird journey. And then USPS is like, they're like, uh, basically they, they gave me a, um, a really long paragraph. Look at how long that paragraph is a really long paragraph. That was like, sorry, sorry, your, your stuff got the crap kicked out of it. Have a nice day. And I'm just like, what the actual hell? It's so weird. It's so weird. Hey, fart sack. Mwah. It really has been a long, strange trip. You're not lying, Jackson. I've called Amazon about things. Let me see if I can read that. About things that I received that went wrong, and they told me to keep them. I got a brand new comforter for free. I guess it's too much hassle to return. I don't know. Thread ups, again, thread ups weird. You never know with them. 
You never know. Raquel, I hope you have a marvelous night. Mwah. And guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, and yeah, I'm going to have to, I guess, follow up with thread up, but that was my thread up fun box. Womp womp. <laughs> the good news is I have another one on the way and I'm quite sure it's going to be lovely fun. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic as long as it arrives in one piece and unmolested. So, uh, you know, Lord willing in the Creek don't rise. We'll have that. Mwah. Lindsay Alvin. Hi. Hi, I was just getting ready to sign off, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's been a weird, uh, been a weird thread up day. Been a weird week, too. Like I said, my cranky pants are, you know, it's it's hard taking off the cranky pants this week. So I don't know what's going on. Spring has sprung, maybe. Maybe I'm just I'm just getting persnickety because spring is here. <laughs> and it's not, I don't feel sad. I don't feel particularly, you know, depressed or anxious or anything. I'm just kind of crabby. I'm just crabby patty. So I'm going to straighten up and fly right because I, I cannot be crabby with my granddaughter. I have her tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. So, so I will put on a happy face and enjoy, um, enjoy my granddaughter tomorrow, my glam baby. She's, uh, she puts things into perspective for me too, I think. I've heard with a lot of cases, it costs more to ship and process returns, trading items, et cetera, and getting ready for reason. Huh. Okay. That makes sense. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing, baby? Is Uranus in wet retrograde? <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> oh, Jackson. She's not always crabby. No, she's not always crabby. I'm joking. I'm only joking. Um, Tina, hi. If, did I forget to say hello to you, Tina? I am so sorry, Miss Tina. Mwah. Hello, American honey. And Lindsay and Alvin. Best fudge in Uranus, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Out of my hedges, right meow. Uh-oh, you just got grounded. You just got kicked out. Uh, that'll happen. That'll happen. It's okay to be crabby, but when people point it out to them, when they're like, they're like, um, you need to calm down. That's like the worst thing you can say to somebody, I think. It's, it's guaranteed to not calm them down. It is guaranteed. Um, yeah. And my sister, uh, my sister was uh, absolutely lovely for removing my remarks. She knew that I would wake up in shame after having a little temper tantrum, a little internet temp temper tantrum too, which I don't, I don't know. I get cranky pants. That's all I can say. Yeah. Cranky pants. Um, but I, uh, not long back from diving Veronica. Nice. Nice. Um, so we look forward to the next, uh, to the next dive hall and to the next video from that, hopefully. And, uh, if not, I still hope, I hope you, that you found wonderful stuff. I hope you really found wonderful stuff. Pushes over the edge. Yeah. Sometimes they do. So anyway, that's me in a nutshell. Look, it's me in a nutshell. Okay. I'm going to stop that. And just wanted to kind of, uh, Yeah. Using a mouse click keyboard, Dodo. Oh, no. <gasps> Yay. Oh, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. I hope your video is coming out soon. Um, so with that, I'm going to wrap it up for the night and uh, go um, try to get my these cranky pants off and maybe put on my participants and uh, and try to do the right thing by thread up um, because I feel like they did the right thing by by me too. I, I do. It took forever for, for me to get a hold of them, but once I did, I think they did the right thing. Hey, Liv, just get ready to, to jump off of here. Um, so if you uh, if you order a fun box from ThreadUp, um, let me know in the comments below if you've had some issues with with any of your fun boxes or with any of your with any of your mail showing up damaged. 
um, make a comment in the below. And if you get a chance, um, please hit that thumbs up for me. It does help with the channel. And, uh, you know, if you like, if you subscribe, could be good for me would be good for me but no matter where no matter what condition your box is in which is the weirdest thing for me to say no matter what condition your box shows up in <laughs> just know never ever forget glamour does love you y'all have a great night good night babies <laughs>